Hello and welcome to Northumbrian Water Scientific Services. This is the first in a series of short videos designed to provide you with guidance on good sampling technique. In this video we'll explore the bottle types that are suitable for potable water sampling. Throughout the video we may make reference to other videos in the series and when we do this we'll ensure that links to the reference videos are available at the foot of the playing window. In this first video we have three specific learning objectives that we'd like you to achieve. Firstly, we'd like you to understand what you should expect from your laboratory service provider. Secondly, we'd like you to be clear on why it's important to use only the bottle types specified by your chosen laboratory. Finally, we need you to know what the consequences can be if you choose the wrong bottles. Once you've agreed the scope of work with your laboratory, they'll provide you with a photographic bottle list. This will bear clear images of each bottle type along with a detailed description of each bottle. It will also describe how the bottles should be filled. For example, whether they should be filled to overflowing or whether a headspace should be left. The bottle list may also bear additional information, such as a description of the health and safety considerations of any chemical preservatives that are used. It's important that you use only those bottles that have been provided by your chosen laboratory and that you follow their specified filling instructions exactly. If you fail to do so, then the laboratory may be unable to proceed with your analysis. In some instances, they may still be able to proceed, but the results that you receive may be marked as deviating. You can find more information about deviating samples by following the link below to the downloadable PDF on our website at www.nwss-labs.co.uk. Laboratories must follow these stringent procedures because they form an integral part of ISO 17025 accreditation. UCAS requires accredited laboratories to advise clients of all samples that deviate from the recommended submission protocols. The issues that may cause samples to be classed as deviating include sampling into an incorrect bottle, incorrect preservation, inappropriate headspace, unclear sample identification, for example, when sample labels and or paperwork don't bear a date and time of sampling, incorrect storage or transportation conditions, exceedance of sample stability time. Please note that although this list is long, it's by no means exhaustive. If the samples that you've submitted are deviating, then your laboratory will contact you to determine how you wish to proceed. You may wish to resample and resubmit. Alternatively, you may prefer for the analysis to proceed on the understanding that some or all of the results may be classed as deviating. Your laboratory will provide you with a written confirmation of any samples that deviate. Moreover, if you elected to proceed with the analysis rather than to resample, then your final reports will be annotated to indicate the nature of the deviation and the potential effect on your results. Because deviating samples are generally not acceptable for regulatory purposes, Resampling is recommended wherever possible, but of course these headaches can be avoided completely by always using the correct bottles and then following the filling instructions exactly. Your laboratory will be happy to advise you on how to store your bottle stocks before use, and they will highlight any bottles that may require stock management to ensure that use by dates are complied with. This brings us to the end of this video. As promised, we have covered what you should expect from your laboratory service provider, why it's important to use the bottle type specified by your chosen laboratory and what the consequences can be if you use the wrong bottles. Now that we've established the importance of following the laboratory's advice with regard to bottle types and filling instructions, we'll move on to video number two, which focuses on the correct order of sampling.